is on the wrong side of the Dipsy Diver. Hey guys, what's up? I'm here on Grand Lake today with my friend Zach and his dad Randy, and we're gonna catch some prehistoric fish called spoonbill or paddlefish. So if you've been curious on how these things are caught, we're gonna show you, so stay tuned. All right guys, we're headed out. We got Zach and Randy here, um, taking us through the honey hole. We won't tell you where it is. Get started. And then I'll kind of ask Randy some questions on how this kind of works and uh, show you our baits and gear and how it all kind of gets started. We're using the Dipsy divers, I think. I don't know what it means. Using these dipsy divers, you control their depth with the amount of line you let out. And they are just oh my gosh, the coolest in invention since sliced bread right there. Okay, how does this work? It works not like it was built to work. They were okay. built to work on the Great Lakes, and you tie this on your line, and then you put a leader on the back of it, and you put your big old jerk bait or crank bait or whatever back here, and you this, it, when it gets in the water, huh? it's going to dive straight down. Okay. Then you would have your bait back here. And this will get you, if you need to troll 50 feet deep yeah. in the Great Lakes or something, you can get down without a downrigger with these little things. Okay. And depending on whether you let out 50 feet, if you want to go down and troll, if the fish are hanging at 15 feet, just let out 50, 60 feet. But if the fish are all down here hanging on the bottom and you need to get down 30 or 40 feet, we'll let out 100, 130 feet. And there's charts, but they don't really work. You've yeah. just got to learn by trial and error. Uh -huh. And you'll lose enough of these at $15 a pop that you'll pay attention to how far you, it's getting down when you let out 120 feet and you'll, you'll learn to keep it safely off the bar. For 15 bucks and we're on, we've gone through 35. Oh my God, so I'm gonna feel really bad if I lose one. <laughs> You should. <laughs> the bill will be Zach, what, Did you bring the cash? Uh, yeah. but <laughs> all these guys have adapted them, so instead of trailing a, a deal here, our hook is on the wrong side of the dipsy diver. So it's down like this, and here comes our hook, which is going to pull into the spoonbill. Mm -hmm. And they work so much better than weights because you never lose a spoonbill using these things. There's no pressure trying to pull the barbless hook out of the spoonbill. Once you've got him, you've got him. Okay. And the minute they hit, they start spinning. And you get this line so tangled up in that fish that even if the hook comes out, you've still got the fish. It, okay. You'll see as we catch some that we'll be doing a lot of untangling line today on these fish. Okay, so this, these hooks don't have barbs, right? Right. So what's got, the, why that's is, an Oklahoma regulation. Okay, why, what's the reason for that? It just to do less. Most people catch and release these fish okay. and just to tear the fish up a little less. A nice little puncture heals up pretty easily and it doesn't get as much meat off of the fish. We're going to yeah. start here in 30 to 35 foot of water, which is going to be, we're going to be safe trolling these at 80 to 100 feet. One. Yeah, let's not use that pole there, just snap it. Are you, are you hung? So they don't get to the bottom of that. You want to get him in the boat for pictures? Oh yeah. Or do you want to yeah, it? It's a little one. Oh, a little one. It's but it's all right. He's, he's 15, 20 pounds. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Save Bust the his knee. Save the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Are you recording? No. Hit the red button on the back. Oh. Well, that takes about two seconds. <laughs> that was quick, wasn't it? Grab him by the building. Oh, and we didn't get tangled up either. Easy release. Pick him up right down here. Oh. Well, there's one. It took me like five minutes, but he's tiny. <laughs> All right, well, we got one. Zach okay, was trying to record, but he didn't quite get the button. Ah. <laughs> we got one small one in the boat. It literally took probably a minute. I dropped down and got, got to 100, and bam, I hooked up. I thought it was snagged in a tree, but you could tell once I got it up off the, off the bottom, it was moving. So small one, but um, we're trying for a 50-pounder. So we're going to drop back in and uh, go again. Here we go. 
Well, we busted the rod holder on the first catch too, so uh, <laughs> we're Zach's now holding a rod. <laughs> got it. So we got these back here though, pretty beefy. We're ready. How big is it? It's not big. Not big. It's bigger than the last one, I think. Unless I'm just more tired, I don't know. It's that fire tire dipsy diver. No, oh, that's a better one. That's way better. Come here, Woo. That's a decent fish there. Just gotta get a picture of this one. We've got a video going. That's a decent one. Come on, bud. Run. That's what we're after. Yeah. Sheep. Beast up. Let me get a camera going on that. Get some pictures of that. Take the key. There we go. Look at that beast. How much does that one weigh, Dad? Woo! 35. Heavy dog. Maybe 40. Let's weigh him. Let's find out. That's a bit, oh my god. Golly. That's so much fun. <laughs> Golly. Going in at just under 50. Nice. All right. All right, let's let her go. Whew. That was fun. That's what we're Here looking she goes. for. Cool. Well, that was a little better than the last one. Man, it takes a lot of effort to reel that thing in. I'm gonna need a belt to do this much more, and I'm out of breath, so get some more. If someone really did call me and for 120 I'd take you out for a half day and catch you one of these monsters. Uh, two people I could probably do 202 but two so name's Randy Hall and uh, I'm not bonding, I don't have insurance and I'm not licensed so you've got to sign a disclaimer that you won't let anybody know these things but come go fishing with me. Zach's got one on. We just moved and changed spots. We're in, we were going in about uh, 80 to 100 foot. Now we're only in 65 to about 85. Just dropped like five minutes ago and we're already hooked in. A lot of debris in the water too, so kind of to get snagged in that. So let's see what this one weighs. Fishing these barbless hooks so they can roll and come off pretty quick. So we can get our hands on them. We gotta pull them in. Oh, another nice one. Good one. Come here, bud. Ah. Set hook on the bottom. That's a good one. Wait on you? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we can. He's about like that other one. Let me hold him up real quick. Yes. Oh, yeah. Cool. Beast. Ready? Okay, ready? It's kind of bouncing 40 ish. Around 40? Well, I'm 
up a little bit more. Yeah, it's about 40. Isn't that crazy the way that's all filter? Yeah, that's cool. <clears throat> all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Slippery ah. one. There's three. Looks like a pretty big one. I see how the water running everywhere. All right, guys, so we've got three in the boat so far. Just lost one. He was kind of all over the place. I must have had him hooked weird. He came up and surfaced and shook, and he came right at the boat, and I was trying to catch up to him, and then he went out, and then he, he charged again, and then it just popped free. And so we're in it. We relocated to a spot that Zach caught his at, so we're hopefully you'll get, get into him again. I just dropped in after about five minutes again. That's how they all kind of came. As soon as we let, we drop down, we seem like we get into them. Still got fight in him. Thought he was done for a second. My ribs are gonna be sore from pushing this rock against him. It's a little bit awkward. That's a good fish. He's tangled up. Early. Oh, still. Hey, you banded. We caught one with jewelry. Nice. You have to get this on the camera. See the number and from fishing game. Oh, cool! Nice. Got a little lip ring. That's no, that's a good 40 pounder. Good fish. Look at that. Whew. All right. That's fun. What are we counting that now? Six or five or? That's five. Five. But six is just yeah. coming up here pretty okay. quick. It's cool. I like the, in fact, we the got gills. Power. That's cool. We might even get six and seven. All right. Let them go. Now it's Zach's turn. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I am worn out. Those things. Gosh, drilling those things in. That's a lot of work. Broken. Only the fire tiger would be good. We're only catching them on the fire tiger, which means nothing, but it's just funny that Brandon, only one rod. I don't know the truth about how many feet, how much feet you got, apparently. <laughs> no, I, that one was... That number. That one was set at 85. 85? I think, no. Was that the max 85 you said? Max. No, I put it at 80. Not 80? Yeah. Had that one out at 80. But it's the same rod that's catching all these fish for whatever reason. This happens to be the fire tiger dipsy diver. Well guys, that's it. We got four in the boat, right? Yeah. And we five lost one at the boat. Lost one at the boat, but it was a lot of fun. Um, Randy knows what he's doing when it comes to catching spoonbill. <laughs> we need to Don't get him up to speed on the on the bass <laughs> fishing, but <laughs> he'll get there. But it was a lot of fun. And uh, as always guys, thanks for watching and make sure you like and subscribe. Catch you next time.